So, um, let me tell you about something that was kind of funny. So, um, I'm not a popular person, so it was kind of weird when everybody was staring at me as I walked past them. And, you know, obviously I was quite surprised, but, um, I was kind of busy, so I didn't think anything of it at the time. Sorry, I just got something stuck in my throat there. And, um... Yeah, so I came into my classroom and I sat down and suddenly everybody just started pointing and laughing at me and I had no idea what was going on. I thought, you know, maybe my hair wasn't, like, looking good, maybe I had something stuck in between my teeth, but whatever it was, I really needed to sort it out. So I asked the teacher if I could be excused to go to the bathroom and, of course, she agreed and as I left, everybody began to laugh harder and, honestly, I was just like, what is going on? And so I reached the bathroom, obviously, and when I checked in the mirror, I saw... Story time. In my old school, I was in a friend group of five girls, including me. Annie, Camila, Jenna and Emily. We were all like best friends and always had sleepovers on Fridays or on the weekend. But Camila always said that she couldn't make it because she had soccer practice. We all said, it's okay, you'll come next time, even though she never came. And we never thought anything about it. Until one Wednesday afternoon at lunch when Emily went to the bathroom. We were all like, oh my god, we should totally throw her a summer party for her birthday next week Friday. And everybody said, yes, of course, and we all started planning it. But of course, Camila said, sorry, I have soccer practice, I can't make it. And me, as a straightforward person I am, said, you really can't miss one soccer practice for your best friend's birthday party? She, of course, felt really, really bad and said, okay, fine, I'll go. We were all super happy, but that was obviously a really bad idea. Two of my last story time. So the day comes of Emily's birthday and we go to her house and we set up all the decorations, the piñata, the cake, the all the arts and crafts, all the activities and everything. And when we arrive, like, we surprise her and we do all the activities, we eat cake, we do the piñata, we eat a bunch of stuff. And then it starts getting pretty late. So we decide, oh my god, let's go upstairs and, like, watch scary movies and tell scary stories and let's bring all the candy. So we went upstairs with, like, all the candy, like, a bunch of candy, and we all set up our, like, movie spot, and we start watching scary movies and telling scary stories. Everybody gets pretty tired, and we're all like, yeah, I'm going to bed. Yeah, me too. But for some reason, Camila was like, no, guys, come on, let's pull an all-nighter. Everybody was pretty tired, but apparently Camila was not. Annie and Emily decide, let's try to pull an all-nighter, but everybody else went to bed. But that night, something very scary happened. Part 3 of the Camila story time. In the middle of the night, I hear a noise, so I decide to get up because I had to go to the bathroom anyways. I see that a bucket of Twizzlers were tipped over. I thought, oh, maybe someone else also had to go to the bathroom. Let me go look for them. And while I'm leaving the room, I see that Camila is the only one who's not in her sleeping bag. I go to the nearest bathroom and I check if anyone's in there, and there's no one in there. I really had to go to the bathroom, so I got inside and I did my business, and while I was doing my business, I heard a door slam. After I finished doing my business, I got up and I started looking for Camila in all the bathrooms because Emily's house is really, really big. I go look around in the other bathrooms and there's no one in them. So I decided to look in some of the bedrooms, but there was still no one in there. I decided to go back upstairs and wake up Annie, Emily, and Jenna. We all started searching the house, but we can't find Camila anywhere. This moment, we were all scared that she had gotten kidnapped. Then we go into Camila's parents' bedroom and we see that the dad isn't in his bed. Part 4 coming soon. Last and final part of the Camila story time. So when we went into Emily's parents' bedroom, not Camila's, sorry about the confusion on my last video, we see that Emily's dad wasn't there, and we start thinking that Emily's dad kidnapped Camila. Emily was bawling her eyes out. We were all super scared, and I had never been this scared in my entire life. Emily's dad was like a second dad to me, so I was super scared that I had been hanging around a kidnapper my entire life. Emily's mom woke up and said what's going on, and we tell her this whole story, and she's like, girls, calm down, Camila went home. We were all like, wait, what? And she was like, go get some rest, I'll tell you tomorrow at breakfast. At breakfast, Emily's dad was back. He explained to us that Camila was scared of the dark and scared of sleeping at other people's houses. And she probably dropped the bucket of Twizzlers when she was getting up to go tell Emily's parents that she wanted to go home. Camila's fine now and everything's okay. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support on my videos. This is a new story time. One day, me and my friends were talking about one of our friends' birthday parties coming up. We are going to call her Brooke. 
So all of my friends were invited to the birthday party. And the day before Brooke's birthday party, she sent me the address. I showed up to the address, but the house was very creepy and old. This was when I was younger, and I thought, oh, maybe they just forgot to decorate. So I casually just walked inside, and I saw that there were spider webs and dirt all over the place. I started shouting, is anyone there? Is anyone there? And then I heard some footsteps. Until a light turned on, and I see an old man right in front of me. I asked, do you know where Brooke is? And he said, if you don't leave now, I'll throw you out myself. I ran out and got into the car. It turns out that Brooke didn't want me at her birthday party, so she gave me the wrong address on purpose. Hey guys, this is a story time on how I got revenge on my best friend who tried to scam me. This story is also sent by Anonymous. So once I was playing a dummy, and then my friend joined, and of course I trusted her because, you know, I knew her in real life. She teleported to me, and then she asked me, can I trust you with you? And, you know, of course I said yes. So then she said that she'll go first, so she gave me a shadow dragon, and of course I accepted, and then I gave it back to her. And then she suddenly disconnected. I gave her a minute, and of course she joined back, and she was like, sorry, but now it's your turn. So I didn't think of anything at that time that she'd scam me. So I gave her my best pets because that's what she said to me. And I gave her my four shadows. And she knew that I was making a neon. I gave it to her and of course she scammed me. After that happened, I was so devastated. Words cannot describe how I felt. I was so worried that I'll never see my shadow dragons again. My dream would never accomplish making that neon shadow. I wanted to do a little investigating. I left the game and I saw that she still hasn't unfriended me. I knew my perfect plan. I joined her and you would not believe what I did. It's so good to come for part two. Hello everyone, this is part two how my best friend had charge scam me. So like I said in part one, I joined her game and I confronted her. She was playing murder mystery and when I went up to her, she finally realized that I was still friended. Before she even left, I had to confront her saying that I'm getting this all in the course, so you cannot leave me. Um, I told her to give my pets back, those are my shadows, and you, you know that I was making my dream pet, which is a neon shadow dragon. She's like, I'm so, so sorry, I didn't mean to, I got disconnected. Of course she did, okay? That's the biggest excuse she can make. And she had said that she was trying to give it back, but she couldn't join her, so she played ragdoll until I came and confronted her. So like my dumb self, I believed her, and she gave me my pets back, and I wish I knew before what was going to happen next. So let's say this is about two weeks later. What I didn't realize was she and her friends were trying to get in mind you, she has three friends. So basically she'd get a shadow dragon and so of her three friends. They were all making a plan to scam me. I was playing a dummy and her and her three friends. Hey guys, today I'm gonna tell you a story that happened one year ago. So I had this friend. We are gonna all her Evelyn. She was famous on YouTube. I had YouTube then, pretending that infamous, I played Roblox and other games. So I asked her if we could be IBFs. She said yes. I was super happy to the time. We chatted on Snap, Insta and other stuff. We got matching outfits. We even got each other's numbers. So we were really close and we played Roblox every single day. And we even FaceTimed a lot. We made some videos together and stuff like that. It was all really fun until one day she said, OMG, to be honest I was confused. Part 2. This is part two. So as I said in part one, I was really confused. I asked, is everything okay? She said yes, and she told me why she said OMG. She told me father ex best friend is back, or something like that. I said okay, what does that has to do with me? She said nothing, I'm just telling you. I said okay, but promise to not leave. She promised us, she said of course I will never leave you. So as a week or two goes by, she started making videos with her new best friend that we are gonna Kalamba. And I saw those videos in her channel. I asked if she wanted to FaceTime, and she said no, I'm talking with Amber. I said oh okay, because I didn't really care. I wasn't jealous of Amber. The next day I saw her playing Tozo, I joined her. I said hi Evelyn, but she just ignored me. Then Amber came. She ignored me too. I was kind of upset, but you know it just completed the tower now. They left after I completed the tower. Then they added me to a group chat. What they said in the group chat was not good. Hey guys, this is the last part. So it turned out that my mom hated them too. That was a good one. So like a year later, I decided to start this account. Then I started gaming like a lot. So when I hit 13 okay followers, so someone followed me and I followed them back and they messaged me. They said, hi Ella, I'm really sorry for how I treated you. So... Maybe they could join the account. I asked who this is, and they said it's Evelyn. I said, how now you ain't joining ma'am. Again, she was begging me for the pass and other account securities. And I just said no. And then she started swearing at me and said, I never even liked you er. Uh. So I said, me either. And then I blocked her TE. Then she created new ACCs to pretend she wants to be my ipe. So I blocked her on many ACCs. This part wasn't really long so don't come at me.
I was in class on Zoom. I wanted to go to sleep, honestly, because like when I'm tired, I go to sleep. I end up falling asleep and then class ends and everyone starts leaving the class. Except me, because I was like in a whole other universe at this point. I was dreaming, I was flying. At this point, me and the teacher are alone in the call. This is the best part. <laughs> then the teacher starts talking to me and he's like, Samantha, wake up. Samantha, please. Samantha, you have another class. He woke me up, but I was half awake, so I didn't really know what was going on. So I thought it was my brother waking me up, and I straight up yelled. I was like, shut up, you fat booger. And so then I realized, oh shit, I just called my teacher a fat booger. And now he scheduled a parent conference. Some teachers just really get on my nerves, you know? I don't know what planet they're on, but they definitely are just built different. Here's an example. When you need to go to the toilet, you politely put your hand up and say, Miss, can I go to the toilet? No, you should have gone at lunch. I'm sorry, Karen, but I can't control my bladder. You know, at lunch, when I'm eating and drinking, it gets digested, and then later on, I need to go to the toilet. It will take me five minutes at max. Probably not even five minutes. Considering our lessons are like an hour long, I'm sure that's not too much of an issue, is it? And then sometimes they're just like, okay, but you need to wait until so-and-so gets back. I need to go to the toilet. I don't care about talking to anyone. I want to go to the toilet. I don't care about that. What do you think we're going to do in there? Just sit and chat for the rest of the lesson? No. And then they're like, don't want you having a bit of a mother's meeting in there. Oh my god. Is it just me? Or like, okay, let's just say you're in the playground, on the floor, you've broke your bloody arm, and your teacher is like, oh, you'll be fine. Follow me, we'll go put a wet paper towel on it. Excuse me? A wet paper towel is going to help my broken arm, huh? Yes, really. It's just going to irritate it more. And a bone is sticking out my body. Oh, it's not going to automatically go back in, is it? No. And, like, what is wrong with you? Am I the only one that would show up to school and nothing important would happen? But then you miss one day, one day, and the whole entire math club beats up the football team. Tom Cruise walks through the front door and is like, hey, look, I'm going to pay all your college tuition. The popular girl gets pregnant. The worst teacher in the building gets fired. Everybody that was in English class passes with an A. The principal's like, hey, you guess what, teachers? Email. Hand out 400 points worth of extra credit for no reason. And then there was a freaking dinosaur f Tell me why people in my class are so energetic at like 8 a.m. in the morning. Okay, they're all laughing, having fun, whilst I look like an ugly rat. They're looking fresh as a daisy, just come out the freaking shower. And I look like, I don't know, I haven't slept in months. I also get cranky in the mornings because they, stupid... School and my alarm interrupted my lovely dream with Shrek. Oh. I do not understand in the slightest how I can literally be falling asleep, right? I cannot keep my eyes open. But then when I actually get into bed and I want to go to sleep, I can't. I'm all of a sudden not tired. It's like I swear my days are backwards because I don't know how this works. It will take me, like, three hours to properly go to sleep. Even though ten minutes ago, I was so tired. Sometimes it might just be the middle of the night, and I will just still be laying there thinking about random things. Like, how? 
is it just me like when you're scrolling through tiktok you could be on any video and then automatically tiktok like scrolls down like a bajillion videos like i'm sorry honey but i'm not finished with the one i was just watching